Oh my god, everyone was so upset to me. Masters, you don't have. Husband, you don't have. What are you doing wow. your life? I was like, wow! Wow! wow. <laughs> Just trusting God and doing the best I can because there's no need <laughs> rushing because people who rush in usually rush out. <laughs> <laughs> Rushing and rush out. <laughs> Hi loves, welcome back again to my YouTube channel. In today I am with me. <laughs> It's been so long since we filmed a video together. So we haven't seen each other. Yeah, actually, yeah. I missed it! In today's video, what are we talking about? What's the title of this video? Midlife crisis. <laughs> midlife. Come see, we're not leaving till 50. Can't be midlife. No, okay, quarter life, sorry. Yeah. Today's video, we've just both turned 25. Do you want to tell them, like, our birthdays? Okay, so. <laughs> fun fact. Okay, yes, you go. No, you can't. Okay, so fun fact. I'm born on 25th of September and I'm born on 26th of September It's like so weird <laughs> It's so weird <laughs> But yeah, so we've just We should do a joint birthday A joint birthday one I've been saying that, we should do it one day it'll, One year, it'll happen. rather we'll, we'll, We might invite you guys, will mm -hmm. you guys come? Let us know if you'll come <laughs> Anyhow, we're just going to be talking about being 25, how we feel, all of that. So I'm going to start off by asking you, Kamsi, mm -hmm. how do you feel being 25? What were your expectations versus your reality? <laughs> hmm. I mean, I always thought 25 was like, oh my god, just like, I'm an auntie. You know when you were younger, this mm -hmm. auntie, this is called auntie, like they were 25, mm -hmm. 24, and like, when I was already like this year and I came out, I was like, I feel like I'm 60. Oh <laughs> There's literally, and, and I feel like my mom, you know, and they're like, oh my god, what nice to be. And I'm like, okay, okay, sis, your old child. <laughs> so I'm like, oh my god, like, I'm, an, I'm that auntie, yeah, I'm that cool auntie. auntie. So my expectations, I thought I'd be more mature or feel more mature, but so. I literally feel like I'm 18. Oh, okay. How about you? Uh, so for me, very interesting thing. I used to think that I was going to get married on my 24th birthday. That per <laughs> Last year I turned 24. Ever since like I was in secondary school, I used to oh just be like, no when I'm 24, I'll be walking down the no. aisle. <laughs> it's the of my life. <laughs> and I guess like last year, I didn't vlog my birthday or anything, but I had mm. like a really nice party like with my friends. I think we crossed over like, we went out that night. Like, I you were in Abuja or something. Yeah, we traveled and we went out and I was just like, okay so you know mm -hmm. not married either so <laughs> yeah and right now i'm 25 and is there any first no, off i thought you were engaged by what happened so <laughs> first off we need to talk about why people need to stop feeling like they know what's happening with people <laughs> because some of you think that i'm engaged and if I was engaged, would I have hidden it? Maybe I yes. will. I would have. <laughs> Let me add that. But, but guys, you, you guys need to stop. I am not engaged. Stop doing MPI. To me, to me, like, were you there? And I'm like, I have to call, but I'm like, me? <laughs> this is Because <laughs> I text your close friend. Nothing was done. I'm like, <laughs> Did she not call me? <laughs> Did she not? But really? honestly, guys, please, like, I am not engaged. I'm not married. I'm not planning a wedding. Yeah. That's okay, because someone was like, how did you feel when you got engaged? <laughs> did you see it coming? <laughs> Do you feel different? None of that happened. And then these assumptions can make someone very depressed. Because imagine if, like, someone just went through, like, you break up or something. Thank you. And then you're now saying, so I just feel like if someone hasn't come out to say anything, I don't think you should, even if you think, maybe keep it to yourself because you don't know if you go and that's safe, period. they'll start crying because, oh my God, I should have been married. Da, da, da. And it's true. Imagine if I was having depression because I had no married And you know, year. like your birthdays, I think now I get to see why people be like, sometimes you feel a bit numb. I tried to distract myself from feeling what I was meant <laughs> to feel. I was like, nope, I'm going out. Screw nope, it. this one. And yeah, so just be very careful before you come present your case. Yeah, so I'm not engaged. I just had to happen to be wearing a ring from a mm -hmm. set that I own and mm, that looks very much so like does this yeah you know, I don't know I don't know the ring finger I don't no, know forget the, the ring finger, finger. <laughs> like but this if so actually let's not talk about the kind of ring that I want please nobody is serious <laughs> sure. you would know if it's an engagement yeah ring. if I go engaged you guys will know you that, that, you will know that not I was that an one. engagement ring cheers so put that life crisis yeah <laughs> <laughs> we don't have crisis in Jesus' name we're so Nigerian <laughs> 
Moving on to the second question on the list. Turning 25, do you get like any feedback, like maybe family asking you like, okay, so what now? Like, did any first daughter expectations like become more pronounced entering this new quarter of life, I think? So like, did you notice any of that? Or, like, you know, I do like experiences. I get that thing every other day. So just another day. But not really, to be honest. I don't necessarily get, I guess maybe because I'm just 25, I feel. Yeah. I don't really get that pressure, but. Mm-hmm. It's there, you know that call from mom. She always, always slips it in there, like, oh, let's pray for a husband. Let's. She's not questioning you, like, it hasn't got to be probably like, oh my god, but it's more like, hmm, anybody? Hope okay, you're thinking about okay, this. Yeah, you know, like, let me know, let me meet him. You know, <laughs> all that exactly. So that's kind um, of where I'm at. You oh. as well. I think that for me, I have a lot of younger siblings. So turning 25 and like not having anyone in my family that has been that age before, I feel like everyone... You're the oldest. Yeah, I'm the oldest child. So I feel like everyone is like looking up to me like a lot more Mm. than before. It feels like... That's a lot of pressure. Yeah, so it's just like I can't really... I mean, nobody's saying don't make mistakes or you know, whatever. But it's there. If you're someone who was like already trying to make sure that you didn't make mistakes it's like trying to make sure that you don't make me more mistakes because you're like an example yeah I'm just trusting god and doing the best i can because that's all you can do you have one life to live yeah. and there's no need <laughs> rushing because people who rush in usually rush out <laughs> <laughs> rushing and rush out okay. so i'm just like taking it easy but i i, I think that that's like the biggest thing for me <laughs> Oh my god, everyone was so said to me, Masters, you don't have, husband, you don't have, what are you doing? Wow. Your life? I was like, wow. 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 <laughs> yeah, oh. that, yeah, I get I get that sometimes. When you see like your peers in like yeah. the corporate world, they're like, wow, this person looks like, you know, they have their life together. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, hey, so hey guys, what's up, what's up? Do you know what's funny? Even me, that's like well, I work in like corporate. corporate. Yeah. I still feel like at twenty five, you feel like, you feel like you're more matured. But then when you talk to people who are older in the career space, like you realize that a lot of them tell you that at twenty five, their careers had not really started. That they were still early careers. I think that one good thing though is that there are lots of people in my life, just older people yeah. around. Whenever I say I'm old, they're like shut up, you're a child, that, you know stuff like that. So that's I that's, that's, that. that's, a bit more that's older. very helpful. I don't know, like I've just always had. Older friends, even like when mm-hmm. I was 18, I had friends that were 26. Very weird, but yeah. I have a question for you. What question do you have for me? <laughs> hey, so you know, as you're 25, and okay. you know, something that I said happening, I'm like, oh, okay. you know how before, like when we were married, my it didn't really like affect you, right? Not that it still does, but you know, when maybe you see like your secondary school classmate just pops out pregnant, or she's like, her wedding is mm-hmm. the next weekend, <laughs> and she's announcing, and you're like, Oh, we're 16. <laughs> why are you, 16. Why are you, okay, I'm like, Does it make you feel any type of way? Even though we're still young. Even though like, we're still young. We're still, I, I feel like we're still young. Yeah, so we're, it's still, not like, we're still well, young. Like, yeah. like, life doesn't end at 30. Anyone who said that. The, the girls in their 30s are thriving. Like, they're, 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 they all look more beautiful, they're giving me richer. More, mm-hmm. they're, like, I'm looking forward to being 30, Because the 20s is just like... It's not getting so, just Someone said, but... someone said, my well, 20s are the trenches. And I was just like, oh no, my honestly, God. No, honestly. You're just, you're just starting life. <laughs> you're figuring, you're broke. If you're on, most people are broke. Yeah, if you're most lucky, people are broke in their You're 20s. just above broke, but you're not really where you true, want to be yet. True. And you're seeing all this, so yeah. yeah. But how do you feel? That's a very good question, because I literally just watched one of my best friends get married and like it's in London. Yeah, yeah and okay. I had to like I was there throughout the whole process and one thing though that I would say is that I don't feel bad or I don't feel mm. pressured but seeing that happen is like showing me more of like what I want like it's helping me have more clarity mm-hmm. so if someone talks to me about marriage now it's not like oh my god god forbid no it's like okay yes I mean like of course someday this would happen but like this would happen like this or mm-hmm. these like, I can be a lot more clear on my I don't see list but if you don't have a list what's I have a list to you should have expectations have a list have expectations so that you not be answering every Tom Dick and Harry like that she, comes knocking because they yeah. will come knocking <laughs> you, you can get like four proposals in your life That's I'm telling really, you you know what these guys always say oh you're not married it's not like they're not getting proposals they're they just are. not accepting yeah. but when you're young you feel like oh my god no one's coming like no people are You'll coming find to propose you would actually find better it. one of my close aunties she always tells me like 
people say this annoying thing that a woman your clock expires I don't want to get into that, but what she always says is that you don't you want to make sure that you're balanced and you're mm. centered and you're grounded. So like don't be too oh my god, everybody I'm above everybody, oh I'm the best thing or whatever, whatever. Mm. Like like know your values, pay attention to them, and then when you find somebody that matches those values, like pray for God to give you guidance to actually know that, okay, this is my person and maybe this is the time for me to do this or no, it's not my time. This is not my person. God has better for me. When it comes to marriage, uh, I just feel like everyone should be led by God. Marriage is a really big decision. I know like some people in our generation try to like trivialize it. Like if you get in and you don't like it, get out. Get out, but like... That's not the case. So I don't think that anybody... If you see when people go through like divorces and like what could happen to the kids and all of that, it's just not how they portray it. Yeah, it's, a lot more. it's, it's deep. So I feel like if you're going to have to do that eventually, mm-hmm. like let this, let it be that it was your last resort. Like not that you just got in and you were not fine, so you just go out, you know. Mm-hmm. So yeah. I'm talking else about marriage in this video, but this is you guys' fault because you will cost this. Now that you're 25, is there anything that you're looking forward to? Anything that you're starting to focus on more? Anything that is going to change? I think I have more clarity mm. and I'm more like sure of myself. That whole True. knowing yourself, there, especially like with living alone and like, mm. I, mean, I feel that way when you're a woman. Like, no, I feel like a woman. I'm a woman. <laughs> <laughs> like, I really have an auntie, like, I know. Not that I know everything, but compare me to like when I was 20, I didn't know. <laughs> Did like, I didn't really. And I at thought 20, I was so smart. At 20, you don't know anything. I thought I was so smart, like you this, this, that. But like at 25, it's like, okay, we're halfway through this 20s, mm-hmm. getting your act together type thing. I'm like, mm-hmm. just more clarity. Um, what was the question you asked? <laughs> Life plans. Are you looking forward to like oh, yeah. anything? I'm very, very, very career focused right now. Like, and sometimes it actually scares me how mm. focused I am because it's like every other thing is number two. Wow. Okay. Yeah. It's like I can obviously someone in my life, and there's like <laughs> no, no. Like if my career is on, but if that person is stressing me out to the point, so you need to like the career will... someone that sees the vision. No, no, that's already a given. I don't even. Think, like... You know when it's already a given. You don't even, even put it because you're seeing what you're seeing. Yeah. This is it. This is what you're getting. But what I'm just saying is like, if I'm going to have to pick, I will pick the ca- the ca- That's just where I am right now. Maybe oh, it's like, so it's like, the person needs to understand this is it. And yeah, like, you know, it. yeah, so no time for nonsense. Free out fast, fast out free. This economy, cost of living, you better be carrying up for good. So yeah, how about fair. you? For me, um, I'll say that, yes, definitely clarity is there. Mm-hmm. But um, the second thing that is happening is that there's like so many things that I have wanted to do in the past that I have not done because I've been careful. Mm-hmm. I've been playing it safe, playing safe. I've mm-hmm. been calculating. I've been like, and well, that's like good and has helped me <laughs> live. Really breathing. I'm not ended up on it's a walk <laughs> doing the most or something. I'm not slapped somebody and eating all of that. Like while while that is good, I I think that a held me back from doing a lot of things. Like, I'll still be who I am Mm -hmm. at my core, but, like, I'm letting those things go and I'm, like, going for things and, like, not overthinking and just, like, reaching for everything that I can reach for. Like, Mm -hmm. I have all these big dreams for, like, my corporate life and I have, like, all these big dreams for my businesses. Like, guys, if you know the amount of businesses, every day there's a new business that I've said, ah, if this business opens, this business will be good. If this Mm -hmm. business opens, this business will be good. So I'm looking forward to, like, not just thinking or having ideas or having Pinterest boards, like, (laughs) stuff. That's where we Start find doing out. things yeah. because, like, you know, you have a plan and, like, you're not focusing on all these things, mm-hmm. and you know, you and I get overwhelmed and like ball out. One thing that I learned, like, from our parents or like older people, like this generation, everyone is like, focus on yourself, build for yourself, oh, this, this, you, self, this, self, this. Well, that is good, mm-hmm. guys. Your community, your friends, the people that you surround yourself with. Mm-hmm. I also just want to continue to like build like that community like surround myself with amazing people because mm. like i don't want to not have quality people in my life what are your three important life lessons so far that if someone if you were to give someone advice today you're like these three things know it hold it dear as someone who's a very like impatient person mm. i would say delay is not always denial mine is 
tackle God first and like every other thing will always fall into place because he will get you out of the trenches like it would even the delay can be from god yeah and there is no way denial see so that's like so that's very important mm. um sorry if you're not christian sorry me i'm christian mm. but whatever <laughs> the higher power that you believe in is have a good relationship spirituality relationship relationship over spirituality mm. oh, sorry mm-hmm. not so. <laughs> but yeah you guys get the drill what's your second one i think i'm going to pick you back off that Mm-hmm. point you made about mm-hmm. your circle mm-hmm. the circle is very important the circle can mm-hmm. make you and it can mar you kind of so... insta blog or you can end up on vogue <laughs> what did you hear <laughs> what 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 <laughs> insta blog or vogue yes literally some people end up on insta blog for good things oh, literally not that we're saying that insta blog is bad but exactly just... like you if know you're what? the biggest you know, person you, in the room if you know you know mm-hmm. If you know you don't. Right. Your network is really your network. That's what I would say. True. My second point would be so sometimes everyone around you is like, this is their thing. This person is a footballer and they're great at it. Or this person is a musician and they're shakane or so. Right? And then you, you that's not where you are. At the end, like one thing that I've noticed is that every single experience that you've had in life, it's always so important because something happens to you in the future and then you notice that something that happened in the past that is teaching you, that has taught you what you use to address that thing in the future. So like delay is not always denial. Delay is not always mm-hmm. denial. Be patient with life and like immerse yourself and learn everything you can from any experience that you have yeah good or bad because they like, always teach you something no matter what if, whether it's pain you've learned it you've ding, come ding, out ding, stronger ding, ding, ding. whether it's everything everything is so. like so important so that's my second point mm-hmm. third point do you yeah. know i had it and then i lost it <laughs> because you were trying to try to help me to make I my own help, boss. i don't let go of my own <laughs> i say never stop wanting to improve yourself you're never at your final destination. There's always something to develop on, and don't believe this nonsense saying of like, <laughs> that's, see, how I am. that's how I like. It's so that's so dumb. <laughs> it's honestly so dumb. You're not perfect, yeah. so why do you think you don't need to learn something or at least consider another thing and okay. see? You need to grow. You need to leave that space. Okay, speaking said, from your heart. No, I am heart. because I'm so tired of people saying all these things. Don't let this whole woke con- community keep you in trenches. If you need to level up to get to where you need to be, level up to get to where oh, you yeah. need to be. If it means leveling up your surrounding leave those people who are not helping your life go find and them call you farms it doesn't matter go find people that will help your life there go and do the things that will help your life whether it's dressing whether it's course never be too comfortable because you will not grow and that's honestly the truth growth is important that's how to rise it growth yeah, that's, yeah that, that's actually such a like good point because mm-hmm. sometimes so many people are so like scared of growth that they miss out on doing that thing that will take them forward they deceive themselves into thinking no it's they not that they're scared them. no because some people don't like fear it's oh actually my God, fear that's my, at the that's core my, that's my final point oh okay sorry <laughs> it's actually like you're afraid oh, my point is <laughs> do it afraid like i know someone who just like started doing content and she kept on saying that oh people like everyone is doing content now it's too late it's too late i'm like no if this is what you want to do do it like even if it's scary do it Mm -hmm. because when you look back you want to say i did that and it didn't work so i'm moving on from you not that i always wanted to do that but i never did it because i was afraid thank god i did that oh yeah thank god i did that because now my life is like all the better like imagine if you never posted your first youtube video because you were scared (gasps) that somebody your school would laugh at you and i would see someone like oh my god i could do that i probably have like a nine to five job i'd be (laughs) miserable because i don't like it (laughs) Yeah, guys, it's been long since I've had a guest where we like really talked, and mm-hmm. I really hope that you learned a thing or two or more on from this video, not on this video. And please like leave what point you found super helpful and other tips you have for people Lessons, yeah. in this phase of their life. So thank you so much. Thank you so much, Cam, for coming on my channel. Thank Cam, you for having Cam me. C for coming on my channel. <laughs> Uh, don't forget to like don't forget first of all don't forget to go to Kamsi's channel if you don't already know her because I mean this is like our, our YouTube auntie but yeah don't forget to go to Kamsi's don't forget to go to Kamsi's channel don't forget to like don't forget to share don't forget to subscribe guys please encourage me to mm-hmm. be turning out videos it's hard mm-hmm. but I, I really want to be consistent mm-hmm. that's one of the things I'm looking forward to doing so until next time see you in my next video bye loves Oh, <laughs> <laughs>